Sports. It's in the game. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, as always, Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this one. Should be a good game. What about the away team today, Alan? Well, for a team that we expected to be up in the promotion places, it's been disappointing for them early on. They have got plenty of time to redeem themselves, and maybe we'll see a, a start of recovery today. The visiting team, well, they are the lowest scoring team in the division, and you sense they might have problems here today. Well, everybody bears responsibility, not just the strikers at set pieces, the defenders going up. The stories in the papers this week have been about possibly him announcing his retirement, Alan. What do you make of that? Well, it's his decision. I mean, you are a long time retired and you don't want to make a premature judgment, but uh, he hasn't been in the best of form recently. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required i think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield and this is today's lineup for the visiting team well we think alan it'll be a 4-5-1 formation which can look a bit negative yeah but you look at the players in that five that midfield five and i think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Had a crack! Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. And the shot had plenty of conviction, but it had too much height. Yeah, it would have been a worldie, that. And uh, he is capable of it, but not today. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. And this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. 
that's given as a corner to Orléans. Swung in from the corner. He spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. And now the shot! Tried to find the winning ticket in the raffle, but a couple of numbers short. Yes, he took it early, though. Some transfer news. There's been a lot of speculation about the future of Edinson Cavani. We can tell you about his immediate future. He has moved to Real Madrid. And he is a good player. He's uh, got plenty of excellent years ahead of him in my book. So that £65 million, pounds, that ballpark figure, I think uh, they won't live to regret it. So we'll restart with a throw in. Well, sitting back, it's a bit of a policy here and letting the opposition come at them, risky. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Now the pitch not quite wide enough for him there. Jonathan Petroipa. Toure. And it's a shot now. Corner. Corner swung in. Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. It made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. We're looking at a well-coached team here, drilled in, winning the ball back in midfield as a group. Can't keep the ball at the moment. And it will be a free kick here. Well, it's a nice bit of skill, but the defending, well, it was woeful. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. He has to clear it. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. To put them in front. He's reached it and turned it aside. No doubt that's a corner. In goes the corner. He's got it away. A good chunk of added time here. Three minutes. Chance from the pass. That was a puff-out-your-cheeks moment and... Phew, got away with it. Jonathan Petroipa. Had a crack! The shot gets blocked. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw... What... And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Well, their weaknesses, the visitors have been apparent again, but... I must say they've defended well, half-time. Yeah, well, maybe it's one of those games that they take a draw out of. Might just nick a win if they can find something.
So here we go for the second half. Jonathan Petroipa. Great chance to go in front. The referee went straight away, pointing to the spot. Penalty kick. Oh, was the contact? Did he dive? Love to see the replay. Step up, the penalty taken now to put his side in front. Clumsy challenge. Yeah, it was a clumsy challenge, and the lad stepping up is normally reliable from 12 yards. And does the job with the penalty. Did the necessary. It doesn't matter how it goes in, just that it goes in. Yeah, the way he walked up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Pleasing on the eye, and no great risk at the moment in their own half. And they are winning the match, of course. But the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. Conte. It's with Toure. Well, they're in a good position here. I think they want to get out of this position where they're just defending their own penalty area, really. And here's the shot. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. And that will clear the danger. Two substitutions to come, one from each camp. Right. Jonathan Petroipa looking to clip it into the middle but the defender getting in the way here's a chance he has come to the rescue this time well they have cleared the danger it was a decent opportunity I think Still 20 minutes to go. It's a good place to win the ball here. Well, the crowd sensing that their side's running out of time here. They need something to happen soon. Letalek. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? Looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. Jonathan Petroipa. They are a class act as a team, this group of players. Quick and they're slick with their work. Well, the manager will be enjoying the sight of it, but he'll also be demanding an end product to it. Well, it's going to be a substitution now. Well, there's a big support here for them. And those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. Well, there's always pressure on you when you're playing in front of a big crowd, your own fans, and the players have shown a few nerves out there today. They've got to lose those. Well, we've only got seven minutes remaining now. Jonathan Petroipa.
can't keep the ball at the moment. And he can clear it here. That's good vision to be able to switch the play there. Out into the wide areas now. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. It could tip the balance now if they take the corner right. Swung in from the corner. He worked so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. that the team have paid the penalty. Yeah, that penalty. Hi there everyone, Martin Tyler here with me today. I'm delighted to welcome Alan Smith. Well, hi there Martin, absolutely delighted to be here. Well, two teams down towards the bottom. It's a big match this, even though it's fairly early on in the uh, three points vital for one of them. Well, he's looked the manager at what they need in the transfer market and he's decided that a strong central defender is what's required. And here he is making his debut. Yeah, uh, they uh, conceded one or two sloppy goals, I thought, last season particularly. And uh, in an effort to stop that, he brings in this player who might just be able to plug some gaps. A 
everything ready for the kickoff. This is the home team lineup. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own right, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a, a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. And this is how the manager of the visiting team wants to go today. He's starting 11. Well, we put it up. And what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get four. To put them in front. Oh, it's poor defending, and it's cost them dearly again. Well, it's certainly their Achilles heel. The manager turns away in disgust. They have been trying to put this right in training, but out on the pitch, well, they are the most porous defence that you could ever imagine really soft and they've conceded another soft goal and they trail again oh look at the manager he works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now and that has opened the scoring 1-0 here Tuska Made a quick interception. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. They might have played him in here. Now, can he take them on? Good reading of the play by the defender. Well, it's an important area to win back the ball, that. It's an excellent cross. Magnificent from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top-class keeping. Corner played into the middle. It's a corner that's been wasted, really. Stopped at the near post. Intercepted well. And now he's looking for some support. Put into the middle. Not really away from the threat here. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Still going towards goal quickly. Well, he clears the danger. What we've got here, Alan, is the away team. A little dip in form, two defeats in a row. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of one that you, you can endure during the course of a season, but I just want to make sure it doesn't go on for too long. Tusca. That's very good defending. It will be a free kick. And now he's going to sort out that earlier incident and put the player who committed the foul. Yeah, he doesn't miss much, this ref. He's, he's eagle-eyed and uh, he wanted to give the team a chance to move forward, but always going to produce the yellow for that. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level again. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Jonathan Petroipa. Toure.
Jonathan Petroipa. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Jonathan Petroipa. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. And here's the shot. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Jonathan Petroipa. And shoots! Referee points for a corner. Decided to take a short corner this time. Spaced across the ball now. And the offside stops the play. Flag went up. Referee blue. Well, everything to play for in the second half. We've reached half-time at 1-1. It is level at half-time. We did think it was going to be tight, Alan. We're not always right, but this time we were. Yeah, it's not been a bad game at all, but uh, nothing to split the two sides. I just wonder what will in the end. Everything ready. For the kickoff. <laughs> Referee blows, and we're off for the second half. Tuska. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Tight against the touchline, it pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw in. Shots on here. Well, he hit it well enough. Yeah, maybe just a bit off balance there, actually. Barcelona have put out a statement that the transfer is completed. Yeah, and I think both parties will be absolutely delighted. I think uh, he'll have a successful career at his new club and around £45 million. Pounds. I think that's money well spent. Looking for teammates in the middle. He worked hard to get the cross in, but it didn't reach any of his teammates arriving in the middle it's with Toure poor attempt at a pass really substitution now for the home team certainly wanting to find a teammate but he's just found an opponent reading of the play anticipating the pass quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there slipping it through Well, it's come to nothing in the end. Has to keep possession now. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Can really get at the opposition here. Opposition slow to get back, so possibilities still on the counter-attack. 
we're going to get substitutions from both managers. Conte. It's with Toure. Well, the pitch not quite wide enough for him there. Goodness me, it was a real opportunity to set up a winning goal until the defender read his mind. Well, he was the last man standing between the striker and goal, so how important was that interception? And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. It's 82 minutes played now. Well, we're going into the last five minutes now, and both teams still have a chance of winning it. That's good movement forward here. And here we've got a free kick given by the referee. Well, no surprise at this stage in the game that the managers are thinking about making changes. In fact, both managers are here, and we will get a substitution apiece. Well, they're fighting right to the end in this game. And the possibility of a winner cut out by that great interception. Fantastic game, this. And it's going to go right down to the wire. Well, they sense the chance to win it now. Strong, powerful clearance. Well, there we are, nothing to separate these two sides at the end of this contest. Well, this has ended level, and there's something to smile about for both the managers as they shake hands down on the touchline. You get these days, don't you? You can't beat your best every week, and uh, neither of these teams were. Everything ready for the kickoff. Put them in front. Oh, it's poor defending, and it's cost them dearly again. Well, it's certainly their Achilles heel. The manager turned.